Hi, I'm Kavita Devgan. I'm a nutritionist and an author. And today I'm going to talk about GI, glycemic index. A lot many people don't really understand what it is, but it's a really important factor. GI is actually a measure of how fast the sugar from the carbohydrate that you're eating is released in your body. That is how fast it is digested, metabolized and absorbed. So higher the GI of the food, the faster the sugar will be released and the more dangerous it is for you. It's as simple as that. So foods which have a GI value up to 55 are considered safe and good for you. And foods which are above that come in the medium and the higher dangerous category. Basically, sticking mostly to foods which are low GI is good for our health. And quinoa with its GI value of 53 fits in very well here. It helps release energy very slowly. So when you have that in a meal, there are no insulin spikes and it doesn't fuel any inflammatory diseases. It is also, because of this low GI value, a preventer of cardiac disease, diabetes, stroke, kidney disorders, and a myriad other problems, which might happen if you eat a diet which is consistently high in GI value. So it's important to weave in some quinoa in your diet to keep the GI factor of your diet lower, which is good for you in any case in the long run. Why don't you take my suggestion? Make a wonderful breakfast. Just mix up some cooked quinoa, some Greek yogurt, top it up with some crunchy fresh cut apples and just dig in. It's creamy, crunchy, delicious and it's super healthy and it will keep your blood sugar stable. Eat healthy, eat quinoa.